Hello, my name is Saiful Alom and welcome to Easy Learning Academy. Today I am going to discuss a very important topics of macroeconomics and this is supply. So let's go to the discussion. The first thing we try to understand the definition of supply. So what is supply? Supply means the quantity of commodity which is offered by a seller during a specific period for a specific price is called supply. Let's just follow this example and through this example we try to understand the definition of supply. For example, Mr. X is a supplier or seller. He wants to sell 5 pen, $10 each and he wants to sell it today. So the, so the quantity of commodity which is offered by a seller at a given price and during a given period is called supply. Now we learn the law of supply. The law of supply says that if price increase, supply will increase. And if price decrease, then supply will decrease. Now we'll try to understand how it works. For example, for example, you are a seller or producer and you have a factory and you make pants. So today you want to, let's say I'm uh, writing here price and here quantity. So today you want to sell five, uh, two pan at five dollar today. But tomorrow you found that the price of pan increased. So what you will do? This is obvious that you will increase your production because it will help you to generate extra profit. So if price increase $10 then obviously you will increase your supply or quantity in order to get extra money or extra profit. Let's say we 4 units $10 and 4 units. Now if the price again increase let's say $15 and again you will increase your supply that means 6 and if the price again increase and then you will let's say $20 the price increased and you will uh, make 8 pence. So what is exactly going on whenever price is increasing you are increasing your supply whenever price is increasing you are increasing your supply whenever price is increasing and you increasing your supply that means the law of supply is working here now we will discuss on supply schedule and supply diagram so you know the schedule that I uh, make it's also called you know supply schedule supply schedule so now we'll put the value of price and quantity in a diagram and this diagram is known as supply diagram supply diagram so we would put the value of quantity in x-axis We will put the value of quantity in x-axis that means quantity will be in x-axis quantity here is x-axis here is y-axis this so and put the value of price in y-axis price now we'll put the value quantity two four six eight two four six eight two four six eight eight and price is five and ten uh, fifteen let's say here and twenty five ten fifteen and twenty so let's say the first thing is price is five and quantity is two 
quantity is 2 and price is 5 the point will be here uh, next 10 price is 10 and quantity is 4 price is 10 and quantity is 4 and that will be here and then 15 6 so 15 6 that will be here and 8 20 28 28 this will be here now if we add this you know point we will find a you know curve and this is known as supply curve yes here we'll add this point well this is supply curve and supply curve is uh, shows upward trend upward trend i hope that you understand supply the law of supply supply diagram and supply schedule so if you find this video interesting and useful please subscribe my channel and thank you very much